either I missed the train or this is a rare showing of Paco being late. I guess it remains to be seen. Um, uh, I'm at 12th, 13th and Locust. I am on my way to New Brunswick, the least used Amtrak station in New Jersey. And I'm trying to go a fun way, but uh, Paco is uh, doing something. Also, SEPTA closed every direct entrance from Walnut Locust to the Paco stations, both of them that are connected to Walnut Locust. So really, I blame SEPTA for this because like, oh my gosh, why would you close those gates? That's insane. New Brunswick, for maximum cheapness, uh, I bought the ticket from Princeton Junction, so it was like 10 bucks, which in itself isn't that worth it, but it'll be kind of funny to take a train from Princeton Junction to New Brunswick. Oh, also, I guess it's the cheapest way to Princeton Junction, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> train came in. I don't know what schedule we're following now because they're supposed to be doing a special schedule. This is not following that special schedule or the regular schedule. Maybe they're just on a super special schedule that no one knows. Um, but I'm okay with it because this means I might actually make my train. I will never understand why the Riverline station is so far from the Paco station. That's right there. I gotta get a ticket. Alright. That's too many near misses for my liking. All right, we are taking this all the way up to Trenton for a dollar sixty, which is incredible. We're just leaving Kent Stockton Transit Center. We can get to the Atlantic City Line here, which is a less good service than the River Line, if I may opine. Look at that lovely water view right from the train. Where else can you get this? Probably a lot of places. Look at this, the line runs straight through Burlington Towny Centra. They don't call it the river line for nothing. Hey, this is Borden Town. Uh, this is kind of a cute little um, sort of colonial town type thing. Um, there's actually a really good Alan Fisher video about this that I'll link up here. Almost there, we're making some sharp turns getting Trenton. Realistically, now I should take um, the New Jersey Transit Northeast Corridor line to get to Princeton Junction. But wouldn't it be more fun to take a really deviatory bus route to Princeton Junction? Yeah, let's do that. Beacon of light, beacon of hope. This looks promising. Yay! Alright, we're on 600. This route is a mess, so much so that I'll be counting as deviations because that's fun. But it's also $2.25 cheaper than the train, so I will totally take that. Um, and this is actually our first deviation. We deviate in a, to downtown Trenton. Um, it's a useful deviation because downtown Trenton is an important destination, but it's still a deviation. Pro houses, random modern building row houses. Interestingly, we now head on to an express portion on Route 1. Okay, we're beginning our second deviation. There's a direct exit from Route 1 into the Quaker Bridge Mall. Well, no one on or off at the mall. And indeed, there were no ones or offs at the um, downtown Trenton deviation either. We're now looping around the mall again to get onto this crossroad across Route 1 because we have two deviations in a row. Also, it doesn't get much more New Jersey than this. A four-lane road next to a four-lane road. So this mess is our third deviation. There's like a Wegmans and a Target over there. They announced the stop at the Walmart. I guess that's this up here. Now, because of those deviations, we now have to go south on Route 1, go around to Cloverleaf twice in order to go back north on Route 1. Oh man, this route. This is the Princeton Market Fair, which has a really bizarre sign. I guess that deviation was a successful one though, because the one other passenger got off. We're crossing Route 1, or are we going on Route 1 toward a destination? Nope. We're deviating again. We are just turning all over the place here. There, there might be deviations, then deviations, but I'm too lazy to count them. We're now on our way to our sixth, and for me, final deviation, because we're going to Princeton Junction Station. We're finally almost there. Um, after that route, we'll have three more deviations before finishing. Thank you. 
Here's the dinky, which is the adorable little train that runs to Princeton from here. Um, we'll be riding this a little later on, but in the meantime, there's a really good Alan Fisher video about this train, so I'll link that up here. It's Jeremy Zorak. Hi, you probably know me from Twitter. We're going on a Central Jersey transit extravaganza. Oh man, I'm very excited. Jeremy's like the expert on Central, Central Jersey. Jersey. Which is real. <laughs> if you think Central Jersey isn't real, don't comment because I don't want you to tell me. If you think Central Jersey is real, comment with your favorite boundary of oh, where yeah. Central so Jersey is. My, my, my definition of Central Jersey is it's the region where the Acela goes 135 miles an hour. Trenton to New Brunswick, which I think is a good definition. That's a good definition. I have a friend who says that it's where you're geographically closer to Philadelphia, but you still commute to New York. I've also heard it's it's where you can tune into the TV and you get both the Philadelphia <laughs> and the New York sports channels. I love these definitions. <laughs> which I think is, that's a good one. Comment also. your favorite. So because Princeton Junction is the second least used Amtrak station, it's exempt from any review, but I will opine, it's very cool, it has this convenience door. Nice. We're gonna get some water. Is this an automatic door after the not automatic? Yes. So I, at the convenience store, I got water and uh, you know, they had Snyder's. It's by default a good convenience store. Jeremy, what the heck is this tunnel? Uh, I like this one because it's egg-shaped. It is. Oh, well, this tunnel's much nicer. It's like subway tiling on the sides. It is. It, it feels like this should be at a septa station, actually. It does. It I does feel like a Broad Street like Line a... tile. Here's the bathroom at Princeton Junction. Charming. This waiting room is busy, and big, and nice, and open at several hours of the day. Again, this doesn't get a review because it's not the station focus. If focused. you had to review this station, what would you give it so far? What I can't you tell you. Least used Amtrak station in New Jersey. I see I think there's a bunch no of, offs. I think there's a great like Alan Fisher video about the parking. Oh like, yeah, there is. Parking in New Brunswick. I'll link it up here. What is that? Who's that? Is that is that Alan Fisher? So you were the one other off. I don't think anyone got on or off. I didn't check. Yeah, but I I think there was. I think we okay. had one off. You know, usually when the train leaves like a least used station, I, I feel this sense of dread, like, oh, there's nothing coming here yeah. for a while. This is... It's one of the busiest stations on the Northeast Corridor. Yeah, <laughs> just not by Amtrak. All right, we're com commencing the review. I'm told there's an exit on this weird end of the platform. Is that an elevator on that side? It is a closed elevator. Closed? They're, they're oh. repairing it. But that side is still accessible, as is okay. this side. Yeah, this is a weird a entrance. Ooh, it's an old one. come down. One of the originals. There's two oh. county buses here. There's a Somerset one and a Minnesota State. Oh, wow. And local New Jersey transit and bus connection. Four New Jersey transit lines. I think it's like five, actually. And then there's the Rutgers buses. Wow, lots of connections here. Uh, Rutgers. Rutgers. Are you rah rah, baby? Ooh. Actually, yeah, there we is, go. Amtrak. Is, uh, the there is proof that Amtrak comes here. Cool Amanda here, some bike cages, like secure things you can put your bike in. Bus shelter for NJT, I think. That is a yeah. daunting staircase. 
you want something interesting. Um, the end of the platform used to be a spur off into Johnson oh, yeah. and Johnson. So New Brunswick lore. Okay. Johnson Johnson is like headquarters here. That's like the corporate Where the parking garage campus. used to be, there used to be another little trestle that went So like, the... oh. you could barely see it, but this like spur over here was a spur off the corridor and there was like a four track, five track, so you get like chemical delivery. My camera does the night decently, so I can okay. sort of see it. That's insane. It doesn't ever get old, does it? No. This is the least used station, but it has so many trains passing that, uh, through that, it. That is what Amtrak does most at New Brunswick, <laughs> oh, which just no. goes through it 125 <laughs> miles an hour. New Jersey is one of the highest per capita uses of solar in the country, and that's the reason why. Oh, these random yeah, yeah, solar lights? Some intern was probably like, hey, would it be funny if we put solar panels on all the poles? And they're like, you know what? <laughs> not a bad idea. I think New Brunswick has several superlatives. This might be the least used station with the most ads. Because there are so many ads here. Yes. All right, Jeremy, I want you to demonstrate this kiosk. <laughs> Will it work is the question. The answer. Uh, I've gotten it to work like three times. Oh, if you, if you turn around though, there is a super express train to Prince of coming. Well, that's more interesting than the broken kiosk, <laughs> yeah. I suppose. Which doesn't actually factor into the score because that it's is a New Jersey Transit yeah, thing. This thing's gonna go very fast. Wow. This bitch pre-sheltered lots of benches here, lots of benches on that side. Beautiful building we'll get to at some point. Ooh. Okay, chipping paint, but it's not awful. Yeah. It's cold, it's not heated. I don't know why they wouldn't heat it. I think someone opened the windows. This one's locked. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll have to put the New Jersey Transit ridership on screen because it is substantial, I'm sure. Lots of locks. Yeah. And quite a few ons. Mm -hmm. On like a middle of peak outbound train to Trenton. That's impressive. So <laughs> this is another exit that's just a level bridge. Here's your parking canyon. Structure. Oh, good. Is this? I guess. Could you? Is there overnight parking here? Like, could there you Amtrak is, park? There, yeah, Ooh. Most parking garages have overnight parking. Bike rack. Okay. And there is a bike. Bike, <laughs> with a bike. Parked terribly, such that no other <laughs> bikes can park in there. Barnes and Noble has screens showing the next train, and I. It does show Amtrak. So this is a makeshift waiting room. You could conceivably you could, wait for your train here. This is like a detached cafe waiting room, I think. So now we're checking out the third exit on this side, which seems to be a more straightforward staircase. This is still 1903 when the Northeast Corridor was originally built. This is before electrification. Ooh. Fun fact about this bridge is back in 1903, there used to be trolley wire under it, but obviously Aww. that's been removed. Aww. Duncan's open! Oh, there's history! Yeah. Wild, there's history. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of text. <laughs> like a five paragraph essay. <laughs> so the reason why it's called Hub City is because oh. you had your railroad over here that crossed the Raritan, but you also had the Delaware and Raritan Canal. Which is how you would go from like the New York Harbor to Philadelphia before a railroad. The best way to ship it stuff was, It was, was the coal conveyor belt from Pennsylvania to New York City. Ooh, more, more bike racks. Wow. wow. Another jank staircase. Yeah, this one's not great. This is a cool spot to see things from. There's Coming up. You'd call this the foamer spot, Jeremy? This is the foamer spot. You can see this is like the old low-level platform. This like asphalt patch is the old low-level. <laughs> so now I think you get the star of the show, which is like the old building waiting room. We are conducting an elevator review. I guess you got it down in the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Three options. What station? The waiting room? What's, what would your smell? It's not fantastic. It's not great. The math it's certainly not, masks it's it. It's not pay though. It's, it's just not. odor. This right. is not a bad elevator overall. Pretty fast. Pretty yeah. Fast. Look at that door opening, my wow. gosh. More history! Whoa! Oh wait, so the street level is just there. Okay, oh, so you can ride oh, the it's elevator. Like a half floor. That's cool. This is an escalator? This is, this, I would wait, this is probably the only least used station with an escalator. This is a, a flower shop. Oh, 
open every day except Sundays. 10 to 4. Is this the only least used station with a flower shop? I've left flowers here for 30 people. The Duncan, the famed Duncan. Is someone in there? It is open. It's open so, till late. It's uh, open every day, six to eight. So the Dunkin' has got seats. This is not bad. Oh, and the waiting room's upstairs. So this Dunkin' notice is technically another waiting room if you don't mind buying coffee. Did someone say restrooms? Yes. It is open from like six to eight every day of the week. Wow. This probably has the best waiting amenities of any least used campus. I would think so. Ooh, they're not hostile yeah. benches. They were for a long time and they pushed them all together because of COVID, but now they're huh. This is really nice. Do the payphones work? Yes, they do. Ooh, that's a good question. This one does. So it's this one. No. There's Wi Fi. There's Wi Fi? There is Wi-Fi. Ooh! Is this the only Leaf 2 station with Wi-Fi? Uh, might be. Is this the only Leaf 2 station with a set Amtrak ticket counter? It, it might be. Amtrak tickets are sold here, that's wild. I'm gonna do a bathroom review. Ooh. Oh wow, this is just a... This is just a one stall. Mirror. Has seen better days. It's functional. But it's uh... Could be better. Staircase up. Ah, so you have to use the very windy ramp if you want TV accessibility. Ramp. It is very deviatory. It's like the NJT 600 bus. And then there's this platform, which is also sheltered. Very nice. So you go down these stairs and then up these stairs to get to the underpass. This is another Broad Street line. This is another Broad Street line. Kind of very echoey. It is echoey. Thank you, Alan, for getting Here's our train. Oh, this is our train? I gotta put my mask on. Yeah. Well, you guys uh, get this. I'm gonna head off. Alright. Thanks for coming. Fair enough. Uh, this is my childhood. It's <laughs> awful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Jersey Ave. Lots of offs. Lots of offs. So this is, I would say this feels more fitting to be a least used station. Look, look at this bus shelter. This might as well be like a Gilman or something. This it's is like, actually like the, the first park and ride like ever. Really? This was built in 1963 like, by the Pennsylvania Railroad Whoa. as an experimental park and ride, which is why it's got such an odd layout. The only platform on the main line is the, is the southbound one. Yes. So in the morning, trains leave from here to go to New York. I'm, there's a mailbox here. A weird station. What? There's oh, a mailbox. a mailbox. You want to send a letter from Jersey Avenue? You can. <laughs> what a great shot! <laughs> All right, Jeremy. I'm talking loudly so you can hear us. So how many riders a year does New Brunswick get? New Brunswick get? gets 8,465 riders a year in 2019. In 2019. Right? Right? making it the sixth most used, least used station on the Amtrak network. Pretty good. And it gets 23 riders a day, which for like three trains a day in each direction-ish, that's not bad. 3.5 like people like three per train. It's like three and a half per yeah. train. Should we talk about scores now? We should probably talk about scores in a better, with a better shot. Okay. We've got this pilgrimage people coming off of a train. My, my question is, is the, like the best parking spot close to the exit? so you get right out in the evening, or is it close to the train so you can get right on the train in the morning? Are you an exit parker or are you a train parker? <laughs> Which one are you? Comment down below where you would park at Jersey Avenue. This video is 90% train shots and 10% content. What, what I'm saying- Mr. Zorek, what were you doing on the night of April 5th? Uh, watching trains at Jersey Avenue. Okay, it's time to score New Brunswick. My, um, I'll let you go first because you're the. You want me to go first? I want you to go first. I'm curious. Because my score is the one that matters. Your score, I'll put it in, but it won't matter. It won't go on okay. the spreadsheet. Literally, your score means nothing. I am thinking of giving New Brunswick a six out of ten because Ooh. we are scoring this purely on the Amtrak. Amtrak, and Amtrak serves the train not very often, and I think that's kind of the only reason its ridership is so low. I'd be curious to see if you like you, you inserted like two or three more like spread them out so it's like every like three and tell hours tell people so. that they're coming tell people also because i think a lot of people just take new jersey transit there whereas i think i think right. princeton junction's got a little more of that amtrak 
ridership under its belt. So you have a six out of ten. I would give it a, a seven out of ten. Okay. Because again, frequency is kind of bad. Yeah. But I think it's got first the amenities. I think are probably the best of that's, any least used. That's why I give it a six because it's so six purely is based bad, on like, amenities. If I was reviewing this as an, as an NJT station, you're reviewing it as a station. Just it'd be, on its merits. It'd be a nine. It's that wow. good. It's really good. Also, we have a, a Northeast Regional coming. Ah! Big step. Woo! Princeton Junction again. And Vicky's here. Yay! This is vintage. Does this have flippies? Oh, I love flippies. It has flippies. How long are we on this for? Two and a half minutes. The dinky's great. So just for some context for the viewers, this is a little branch line that runs from Princeton Junction to Princeton itself. Princeton proper. Wow, there's not enough bike stores. People park their bikes for the trees. Princeton Station. Station open during hours of train operation. Well, that is right now. What a door! It's the swingy wow. door. Very heavy. Waste baskets. This is super echo. Wow, look at this like modernist building. What facility could possibly art, be in like here? A Princeton Art Museum or something. Okay. Right. Oh, it's the world's most modern Wawa. Stained glass Princeton Wawa. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice wow wow. Look at this. We've obtained our hoagies, and now Jeremy's taking me on a tour of Princeton. Yeah, we'll In this go. video, ostensibly about New Brunswick. We are at the wrong school, Jeremy. This is the original station building. Which is now housing a bar, a bar and grill called the Dinky. I got a meatball hoagie from Wawa, and they're really messy, so I'm gonna kind of go like this. He's gonna try to attempt to. We're on, we're like on lawn chair seats right now. Mm -hmm. How, how's the hoagie? It's good. It's always reliable. It's a reliable like 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> a, a, a rare miles in transit 0.5. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I hate doing 0.5. I don't know why I just did that. Jeremy's taking me to where the... Um... The yellow, the yellow and rare and cow is very cool and there's now like a trail on most of it. Yellow lights are flashing. That is so heard. bright this late at night. Well, clearly we won't get killed by a car. No, I don't think we will. The bridge looks very nice, I can assure you. This camera just it can't see it. It was an old it. swing bridge that they locked in the place. Over the, this is the Delaware and Reardon Canal. I mean, here's the... the Catenary. Yeah, in the sky. Here. Oh, that's oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. You can sort of see it. The foaming doesn't stop when you're in central Jersey. Everything about the dinky is amazing. And this is the last time we'll see it in this video. Jeremy, is that a train I see? It is, and it's going very fast. Why can I not escape the foaming? It's 90. It is the Palmetto to New York. That's coming from Savannah? Could you imagine That's sitting in a coach? That's kind of cool. Bye. Bye. Trenton. It's 11.31 and I have a 35 minute wait until the next SEPTA train back to Philly. And the whole seating area up here is blocked off for no reason. SEPTA Regional Rail leaving at 12.02 a.m. and it's a Tuesday night. We arrived at 30th Street quite late, well, eight minutes late, so it's now 12.58. Third time I left with the trolleys, we'll see. 36, oh heck yeah. Well, that sure was a fun night of foaming. But now it's time for the foamer to sleep.